Hey guys. So let me start by saying, I know this is a really simple concept, but this is kind of new to me. I don't like wearing denim. No, that's a lie. I don't like wearing denim normally. One half of your body that's super predictable that you know will match with anything else. Eh. But I think there is an art to it and a lot of comfort. So this is how you can use a boring, simple concept and make it classy and interesting and effortlessly check lots of adjectives. Let's just hit it. So this is my go-to denim outfit. And it's the bare minimum effort anyone needs to go through to look cute. Black turtleneck, easy. Denim jeans showing a little bit of an ankle for flirting tech and matching shoes. I went with something neat and tight, sort of more put together so the outfit was clean, um, which were my go-to black pointy leather shoes from Vince and a little lip just to match the bold jacket. Because the outfit is so simple, it needed something to complete it and that is easiest done with the jacket. Um, they always have a lot of personality, I find. While this jacket is kind of bright red and has some very gorgeous, very simple details, it's casual and just uh, mutual enough that it's neatly puts together the outfit. Next one. This one is simple. I know. But... I adore it. The singlet has a very 70s neckline, Audrey Hepburn s sort of feel, and it's very simple. It's like elegant and feminine. Um, the jeans had to be high waisted, not tight, and <laughs> show the ankles. Um, something equally girly, a pair of picnic heels, not high heels, again, just vintage, and had some like more red, I don't know, because it's somewhat bold yet very feminine and classy. I feel like it just needed a little bit of something so it wasn't too boring. Um, the hair neatly up and it's the closest we're ever getting to Audrey Hepburn and denim, which is necessary because she is the epitome of effortless. Okay, this sadly was done before me on Nasty Girl, the Netflix TV show, but vests are just so in right now as it was last year, but it, it was again this fashion week. Figure these two put together make like magic. The vest is so feminine. It is like sucked in at the waist to give that curved sort of shape. It has a feminine low neckline and it's got the cutest details. Put it with these disco pants. It was just like a lot of fun pairing two very similar colors together from two very different themes. Boho and then you've got what suit. It just brings in the unison. It surprisingly works. And because upstairs was happening and the flares are pretty long, I added some nude heels just to keep it simple. Yeah, and you can have a completely new look in two seconds. Bam, that suit gained to the next level by adding a blazer. The thing I love about this blazer is the colors and the buttons. Like they have two like pairs. You got some hippie 80s vibes like the Beatles, but the colors are modern, very on trend 2020. This is the definition of comfortable and still chick. Like, I don't know why more people ain't doing it. It's just so, it's just like so simple. Jeans. That show your ankles, that's a, that's a that's a given. With slick, tight, and simple shoes, Gucci loafers would be amazing, but leather shoes work too. If you're like me and you can't afford anything, with a black turtleneck and an oversized cardigan. Bam, a pair of large hoops does a trick. I just love it because it's cozy and it has like a fun shape. You pop it all open and just have the bottom button done because I don't know, that's what's edgy. And you know who else did it? Selena Gomez. And that's it. Why is that? I don't know. You guys tell me down below. But the reason it works though, for real, it's having a very simple put together outfit underneath that's very neat. And then having that one like dressing over it, a scarf or a statement jacket as like the item of focus on top. So it can be baggy, kind of like Ariana Grande with her expensive baggy hoodies. You get me. I really hope you do. You and I sadly both knew this kind of predictability was coming. That I'm gonna tee. A very vintage looking one. But if you were gonna do it, there are ways to make it look cute and chic and boss it up. You make it tight and clean like you could be a massive neat freak nerd. I did this by adding a belt to suck it all in, rolling the jeans to show some ankle, neat pointy leather black shoes with a shirt tucked in. It takes the laziness out of the outfit and looks more organized like you know what you're actually doing. I think the intensity of the color of this jacket works really nicely with the white um, and the blue and the black. It's a pretty typical color palette but I was feeling it. <laughs> Even the graphics on that tee worked with it. 
It feels like a downplayed suit set. You could also take it from neat nerd to the effortless French lady that can walk around in heels all day like a boss and match it with the red jacket or toss it and add the black purse so the dynamics change. And you've got a lot of simple with the pop of the color of the shoes. This look was supposed to be effortless and chic. Like you just rolled out of bed in your nightgown and and just chucked it into a pair of jeans. Not suggested. Any very feminine camisole, don't know if I'm saying that right, singlet, lazy lace top tucked into jeans enhances a very free quality that denim can have without enhancing that manliness or better word like tomboy look that denim can have. And because this look is so lazy, like I'm going for a walk down Abbott Kinney with my CBD latte, I added these gorgeous knot flats. They are literally a knot on top of wooden soles. <laughs> This is the only look I have always, always, forever liked. Denim on denim. Denim itself alone is always pretty boring until you like hit it with another denim and everyone's like, whoa, flabbergasting. And the more denim you can chuck in, the more mind blowing it becomes for people. And then you add like different tones, which is personally my favorite because it's an art. And then you get like outfits like this or some more of my favorites, which is hard to afford, but still pretty freaking phenomenal. Oh yeah, and styling wise, I just added some studs and a bag black so that the denim was talking. When I went looking for ways to look cute in denim, the only people who ever have were, no surprise, Lily Rose Depp and Zoe Kravitz. In my tastes, anyway. The thing though that was working was the Coco Chanel look. Somehow you add Chanel with denim and it's like, pretty much dress that one Chanel item you have and wear every day because you love it, um, down with a pair of denim jeans. Example, white corset. It's got beautiful details, it's got an elegant shape, enhances femininity and shows off collarbones and arms and neck. You tuck it into jeans and it's still pretty classy but it could be worn in multiple situations because you've worn it down so you could wear it for like to a nightclub, to a party, for drinks. But it's Chanel, you don't have to wear it on a carpet. Same with this wavy silver crop, it's very feminine, looks glittery and classy like it might go with some long velvet black pants but you can wear it down with some denim. And it's a pretty un <laughs> it's a pretty unpredictable look matching different occasions, Taylor. It's like maths. Something is too dressy, subtract look with something that's not dressy, and voila! Four minus two equals two. Anyway, now that you know I can subtract, and that's great. Um I hope you subtracted something from this video. <laughs> Whoa. Feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. And I think that's enough terrible puns for me. I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll catch you next week. Bye.